Hello and welcome to another update video about NetGas. So it seems like we're following through here on the short-term bearish count for now that we've been discussing over the last few days. So for everybody who's new on the channel, there are basically two main ideas that we have here about this chart. Um, in both, primarily, another low is expected for NetGas. Yeah, maybe sort of in the 120 to 150 area. Um, the idea was that either the wave four is still in the making before we come down and off this third wave low, which was printed here on the 22nd of February, we rallied in an A wave, we came down in a B wave and we would now rally in a C wave, basically in a flat pattern. Yeah. Um, happens often in a wave four, yeah, especially here like an expanded flat, a so-called sideways correction where the B wave is very strong um, and the C wave could then rally. Possible still, yeah, this is not entirely invalidated, but becomes increasingly unlikely and is also not my primary scenario anymore, at least for now. Um, the reason is just that if I zoom in here, the problem that we have with this count is that yes, in this scenario where we are moving higher in a wave four and that would be a C wave, it would be an impulse. The only way I can count this still bullish would be, or the only likely way, yeah, but even that I find quite unlikely now, um, is to count this as a wave one, this as the wave two, with the wave three in the making now, the wave three of the C wave, and then there will be a four and a five. But within this third wave that we have here, another one, two setup, which could then rally in a third wave. I find it a little bit wishful thinking. Um, someone asked me a few days ago because I didn't consider that idea. Well, I do sort of consider it basically a one, two, one, two setup at present. I don't see any indication that this is a likely count because this would mean that this move of the Friday low, the 5th of May, would be a wave one. Now you would basically have a one, two, one, two setup. The second wave one would be a bit too long to be a reliable wave one. Okay. Um, typically what you want, you don't want the second wave one to be a very reliable one. Um, you don't want it to be longer normally than the 78.6 extension or especially not longer than the one to one ratio, which it was. So that makes it less likely. It rather would confirm to me that this is an ABC structure as I have labeled it. Now, okay, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. If this is a wave one a high, a wave two down and another one two setup, which would be quite a bullish setup to be honest, because the next wave up would be a third wave. Um, first of all, this would only get into my focus again if we break below $2.61 above bearish resistance. And how would I count this way down? I mean, the only way to count it would be, okay, we topped here in a wave one. This is an A wave down. This would be a B wave, which however would be very short. And we're now coming down in a C wave. Now this is facing invalidation. This is going to invalidate below $2.02. Okay, we still are quite far away from that, but as you know, if a break of 78.6 retracement occurs, then it will make the entire thing unlikely. And the 78.6 FIB level is at 217. So any drop below 217 would make this bullish count, the direct bullish count, uh, very unlikely. And the problem I have is if this was an A wave, this was a B wave, then the C wave is running out of space. Yeah, it, it would be very short, okay, to hold 217. So that is not my main focus. And I don't think this is a count that would be very, very likely. Often these one, two, one, two setups, they don't work out. Um, they often don't work out. They are very often ABC structures, okay, or a diagonal could still be that, but you know, that's unreliable. Okay, so we focus mainly on the downs. Let's say wave one down, wave two up. I would change my view or consider to change my view if you break below 261. But um, honestly, it could very well be that the downside pressure is so high that wave two is already in. I find that a little bit weak.
for a wave two, but it's not, it's not uh, invalid or anything. Yeah. So then we would come down now in a third wave. And if we take a look at the target for a third wave, normally you want to see the 1.618 extension. That would roughly take us down to 184. Let's see. Yeah. But certainly there will be support around $2.15 and then $2.02. Yeah, and that's sort of my view about net gas here on the futures chart. I mean, again, you know, this is still a chart. This still has a chance, but um, I find that one two one two very unlikely. And because we are below bearish resistance, which goes all the way up to two sixty one, um, I focus here now on the downside. But things can change very quickly on the net gas chart, so we need to pay attention to that. And now let's take a look at the spot chart as well. Yesterday when we checked, it was still holding bullish support, but I already told you that this is probably not going to work out. I mean, this technically, yeah, I mean, what we just talked about on the futures chart, um, that this could be something bullish, okay, at least short term in the C wave. Technically, this is still possible here. Um, I don't believe it. I still leave the count as it is, but also here, I mean, because it hasn't been invalidated, here it's actually even holding still the 50% retracement for that um, for that um, wave four, basically, right? Um, and it could rally in the fifth wave, but also here I find that unreliable now, um, given the futures chart, it seems to be a little bit further ahead. But also here, if we break below 227, then this will also um, basically confirm the downside. And also here, I mean, the count would be wave one to the downside, A, B, C, and wave two, and then selling off. I um, just don't change it here on the on the chart yet, just to have um, sort of the bullish count also on the chart. But I favor the direct sell off as long as we stay below resistance here. Yeah, yeah and that's my update about NetGas. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership and also make sure you follow us on Twitter. You can find the link in the video description, also our Twitter handle at the beginning of the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.